What's up guys, this is The Rifeman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of remind you guys what happened last time, the British are sallying forth out of Montreal for the attack, so let's get ready to chop them into pieces. Um, this is the army I'd like, um, so I might build a fort in Montreal to hold that bank of the river and to act as a bluff and then push a strong force down along the coast because that's where the money is, that's where the, the trade and the resources are, that's where the the proper wealth building parts of the continent are. That, and it's a kind of a double whammy. Rig the game by knocking them out of the, knocking them out of the game by destroying, by capturing London. Not that I'm close to doing that at all anyway, yet, um, but someone mentioned it in the comments that it would probably be a fun thing to do, so I've decided that I'm going to try to stick to that principle. Unless they're really, you know, kicking me in the knackers, then I might give it a go. Then if I'm kicking in the knackers, it's, it's a real Hail, Hail Mary moment as it is. So, three, you get ready to deploy. You deploy up here. Cavalry in the woods, turn off fire well. Pikes, you sit here. Oh yeah, everyone have these. Poor, poor Brits. To be honest, I'm going to advance up. Hold fire and limber up. Not that I think it all matters. I don't think artillery is going to play much of a factor. Oh God! Coeur de Bois! Flee! Fall back! More native... natives. Thanks. See, so you're winning slightly on the high ground, but not when these guys have a shot. Shaken. Go straight in to smash the unit of auxiliary. You go straight in to mow down the unit of militia. Head for the hills. Poor old British militia. No, actually, keep the natives chase them down. The regiment of horse. Oh, I forgot about Regiment of Horse. Beautiful. Get them to run around the flanks so they don't get shot by my own troops. There you go, so the French native troops destroy the British native troops. Hessian Grenadiers. General, 
chase down the Hessian Grenadiers. Oh, it's that Hessian. Mm. Continue because they're sallying out. I don't know if it's the last turn, but it would be worthwhile for me to slut to uh, do a lot of damage. Halt. Halt. Go on, General. Get down those grenadiers. Knock these, knock these guys out because there are many, many, many other British formations that are going about unmauled. Hesse Kessel, Kessel, Hessian Grenadiers, sorry, not Hesse Kessel Grenadiers. No, you chase after them, the Rangers. Might be a bridge too far, but. Turn off fire at will. And have you chased down. Oh, not chased down anyone. They will escape, and then every everyone chase down this unit of irregulars. Every single cover unit converge. And the firewall is turned off, which is important. <laughs> You're committing how much cavalry to the destruction of one unit? Good. Decisive victory. It's in turn, I wouldn't bother because then I'd get the city anyway. Um, but because I don't know. Because I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the ter what turn it is. I may as well chop them down. There you go. Only four hundred remains. Yes, yes, it's, yeah. It's not my territory yet, but that means my next attack will be easy. And this would be the main. Oh, good. They destroyed that Prussian fleet that was raiding me. So this is my main counterbalance against Austria. As I might be weak on the continent, but I have a stronger colonial empire with the money backing me up. Yeah, destroy my schools. Destroy my religious schools if you want. They're your own religious schools. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to replenish. Let them raid. Let them raid. I need uh, to get my troops back up to form before a hidden Russian stack comes out of nowhere. Give me that. What did you want? You want a crop rotation. I'll have crop rotation for flying measuring tools. Good. Measuring tools gives me metal roads and advances in industrial tech, which is good. I don't do enough tech stealing one. Tech stealing in my campaigns, really. Mostly because I just prefer having a decent amount of schools myself. Reinforcements for the for the North African Genoa. Out in this region, as the lower orders have become too unhappy, you must I'm either keep appease going. the rioters by lowering taxes. Yeah, you should be okay now. Or send in the troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act quickly before the riot becomes a rebellion. Well. Not Fusiliers, I'm going to recruit me some Grenadiers. Maximum of six. Well, these guys are going to have some good Grenadiers. Grenadiers backed up by a 12 pounder. All the rays in Weimar, Lusitania. Tech advances critically by, by rank. So you, Orléans, go on to. 
socket bayonet. Hey, it gives me what the hell is that? Douanier infantry support troops. Okay, so can I load up? No, it's not letting me bounce between them, but they're more accurate, they're much faster at reloading the basic line, all their melee stats are better, and they cost not much more to upkeep, less than 10% bonus to upkeep, and then probably about 25% recruitment cost. Hmm, elites though, elites nonetheless. So yes, I will have them... Instead of doing wedge, oh, what cadence marching? What does that get me? The Ogilvy Regiment. Are these Irish? Scottish! By David Lord Ogilvy in 1820, the remnants of the force defeated at Culloden. The regiment consisted of one battalion during the War of Austria. If you guys fancy reading this, I will scroll through it so you can pause it and have a read. Hmm. But I want. to sprint down these military tanks, particularly from fighting pressure. Cool. Farming's been done. Low yield mine is not a priority. So they're being built. Let's get another general here. Emery de Muir. Oh, that, that chap. Good, that'll be a solid army to move down. No, it's knock out Falmouth, Maine, Albany. Maybe, after a while, if I can take this corner, may, yeah, if I take this corner, maybe Philadelphia. If I can take northeast England, northeast America, sorry. I would then try push for peace with Britain. A temporary peace, because it won't last, because it never lasts. Ah, the Prussians are blockading my port. So maybe now is the time to pursue an advanced, uh, increase my naval naval research. Let's put you over here for the moment. Oh. Low yield farms. Meh. Let's buff Paris, make Paris the most valuable region it can be. Okay, ministers. Good ministers. Hmm. Nah, I think I think I'm gonna leave my ministers as it is for now. And that's to get that's to get Louisiana. God, look at Russia's military. Holy moly. Let's build another farm up here as well for Cologne. Oh, and then let's tax you as well. What about you, Netherlands? You're being taxed. Strasbourg, Strasbourg's being taxed. Hanover. Hanover is being taxed. You need to. I need to fix your. Fix your uh, ironworks. But let's let the Germans rebel. I don't think I can knock down. I can, but I think they'll go stop it. In any case, I think it's time to end turn, so let's hit it. So do you have an Austrian superpower forming on my border? God, they'll be the most boring big battles ever. They'll be me in my white coats and Austrians in their white coats fighting against each other. How naff will that be? <laughs> but I'm not going to fight them. They're a useful counterbalance. Right now. I think po oh, Poland and Austria are at war. Hmm. So I'd rather have friendly Austria than hostile Poland as my ally. But anyway, I need to research um, some more naval techs. That and foot begin to fortify my Caribbean islands holdings. Now they're particularly vulnerable. Like I've just been doing island hopping with them, but all someone has to do is the same to me, and then I'm I'm screwed. 
I can't build maximum. I can't build any more than a fourth rate. I don't. I think at the minute. Not from a, not from a basic dock. Oh, good. Sweden's going to pour another army into the Russian front. Louisiana is holding itself off. Oh god, no god, fight the Brits. You're at war with each other, I think. Right, I also need to get my army back from No, oh, see, if I'm rec see so, hmm, so right now I'm I've got I'm recruiting those two armies in North America. Strength over time, the more they're left unchecked. So we're, oh, it's just another Brandenburger rebels. Have at it, sir. I have extremely elite forces here. As soon as you move, I'm going to trigger you to assault me. Okay, some new port facilities, new smiths. Okay, but first. They are still... What are you, a fifth? Oh god. Sixth privateer in a brig. Fifth, 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 fifth. I'm gonna fight it because I want to capture as many of these vessels as possible. Navy. Naval battle skill. The only way to really do that is to fight these little um these little minnows. Let's pick my group to line of stern. Put the ammo at the back. So let's go in this direction so I could try to swing to the north to fight the Brits. So once I. I'm going to try hobble Dorsch. Dismaster, capture her. And then I can swing north and still have some sort of speed. At least that's the plan. I'm cutting off this far. To the, I'm, I'm going in this <clears throat> this direction rather than straight ahead because I'm assuming they're going to the last minute spin around in this direction, fire some shots, and then probably try to scoot away from me. Fifth, but it's lost a good portion of its guns. Well, it's lost half its gun, more than half its guns. And its crew complement is in half as well. Liberators lost most of her guns. Privateers lost half her guns. Okay, what did you chain shot? Is that slightly shorter? Shorter range. There you go, bow chasers of open fire. Not done any damage. So the hope is that these these leading ones can knock out The hope is these leading ones will knock out uh the masts. So then I can drop off one of my rear ones to go actually border and capture her. Unless I get round shot and pummel the hull, because so I presume that will also have a morale effect. Look at this guy's red. Oh, because he's Spanish capture. Onto round shot, so when they pivot around, they can start to get some shots in. This mastered switch these two to round shot, switch everyone to round shot. I 
they will slow down quite severely because they will lose the weather gauge but as it pivots and gets on target Fire brought her into her. Hope she doesn't blow up. Just to stop her from actually coming back. And send the Admiral to board. Take him out of the group. Surrendered. Good. I'm sure sinking. Whew. Okay, let's take you guys, get you here. Speed you up a bit. It's tempting just to go right out and fire broadsides at them. Just regular round shot. Because the private is tiny. Go and head towards them and swing down here. And swing to the north uh, to the northeast to get the speed advantage. Cross my T. That's okay. It's going to scoot away, as is the prerogative. rely on her speed but I'm actually faster I need to take you round shot so if you were to do that would you be still within range and fill your sails Hard turn. Yes, you are within range. Put some holes in a sail. Sail right down the middle. 169 crew versus 58. It's tempting. If I spin them round. If I dismast them, I will try sending them into board. Oops, wrong button. They're going, to, they're going to get fired upon by this privateer is going to get fired upon by every ship as she passes through the rain through the, their sights great to fire broadside Broadside off in time. Let's 
But you will this time. And do the same again. Ground shot to try to take out something on that brig. Fire it off. Spin the ship round. Spin them around. Try to get off some shits into the bow of this brig. Three, two, one. Leader a little bit and fire! Guns on the regenerator, which is my ship anyway, I'd imagine. Wavering. Put round shot. Does this fifth ray have bow chases? They do, so they will gradually keep putting chain shot through her sails and slow her down. Same with you. Get your chain shot on. Keep putting holes into that brig. Speed up time now. Surrendered. Alright, everyone else. Target that brig. Come on, eventually those bow chases are going to work. You're snaking from side to side to try to spin around, pop some shots off and get some speed again. But that's the thing with old timey ships. Is that the bigger ships are generally a bit faster because you've got more sail. The more sail compensates for the higher, higher weight. Oop. After my ship freaks out about actually trying to board. Bit of friendly fire, never hurt anyone except, well, friends. I think that should be it. Isn't it? That's the only thing routing. I want to. I don't want it to route. I want it to surrender. Surrendered. Surrendered. No. Good. A prize to the AI for nothing for five seconds. <laughs> five seconds of time. Good. Fifth, sixth privateer and a brig. Good. And the privateer. Prize money be nice, but I've got enough money from just opening this port again. So let's get this port back to Brest. And then let's repair damage. And add to that a brace of fourth rates. No, oh, actually just two. Two for now. I don't know, I don't want to go crazy. And while I'm at it, build a Navy board. 
Oh, I've still got enough money to upgrade. Uh, oh, I've got enough, I can upgrade a port. Good. Get the ports upgraded, then send this army from Krakow. If they finish recruiting, they have. They are going to. Well, first, actually. This sixth rate, captained by. or led by an admiral who looks suspiciously like John Churchill. Good, get you back to here. Get them into port on ships. And send this fleet up and over. And deploy it off of Port Royal. Then send my ships back to Otra. Otrabanda trading port. And they will sit here and then provide fire. Then we'll attack Kingston, then attack Port Royal, and open up their sugar ports for trade, then onto Nassau. And then when they do, I'm probably not going to want to attack Charleston because then all of these Cherokee nations will attack me at the same time. I'll probably bring them up and land them somewhere up here. So maybe one army might. Proceed down this way, start knocking out the Cherokee. This one, uh, another army might proceed to knock. Well, one army will go down to take the Cherokee, and one army will start to knock out the Brits. But then this army from the Caribbean will move up, and will probably drop them off at Boston. Sounds like a good plan to me. There you go, and they're all recruiting. Cool. But looking at the time, I think that might be the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun to actually do a naval battle for once. It's not as low-key and as inconsequential as it may have been. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.